my name's Georgie and today I'm talking about my integrated BSc project which looked at um, the associations between morality, deprivation and the time to help seeking for cancer symptoms um, because the associations between these three variables had not previously been examined. So this is a project which is very relevant to Wales where large proportion of the population do actually live in rural deprivation. So one third of the population in Wales are can be considered to live in a rural area and of these 13 percent were found to be materially deprived in 2017. So in this study we analysed data from the Welsh respondents to the International Cancer Benchmarking Partnership survey. So this was a population representative survey and there were more than 2,000 Welsh respondents. Anticipated time to help seeking for two cancer symptoms and the associations between rurality and deprivation were examined. So these two symptoms were a persistent cough, which represented a possible symptom of lung cancer, and rectal bleeding, which represented a possible symptom of colorectal cancer. We also conducted data analysis on a number of variables, which we know has an influence on the anticipated time to help seeking. So these included age, gender, education, but importantly, also psychosocial factors. So um, symptom awareness is known to have an influence on when patients seek help. So um, if they have very low awareness, then this increases their length of time. And this is also true for cancer beliefs. So if a patient is found to hold very negative cancer beliefs, such as believing that cancer is a death sentence or stating that they would not want to know if they ha um, had cancer, this also increases the length of time before they seek help. So our results showed that both virality and deprivation did have an effect upon the time to help seeking for a persistent cough. However, no effect was seen for rectal bleeding, which is unsurprising because rectal bleeding is um, often quite a shock to people um, and can have a profound functional impact. However, a persistent cough is more ambiguous and more common and so is less likely to seem um, be perceived as a serious symptom. So this map is the product of our research. Um, and it predicts the time that it will take someone living in Wales to seek help for a persistent cough relative to the time taken for those living in a different part of the country. So you can see that whilst we can't predict the absolute time taken, those living in more rural and deprived areas, such as the north, which is coloured a darker blue, are likely to take longer than those living um, in less deprived areas, which are coloured the lightest blue. And so because of this, targeted interventions are needed specifically at rural and deprived populations in order to increase symptom awareness of lung cancer um, within these populations. However, further research is needed to determine what kind of interventions these could be and how they might be best implemented. And this will help to improve cancer outcomes in this population. Thank you very much for listening.